Okay, um, this is experiment uh, D3, um, this one here, this experiment. Um, in this case, we're looking at um, memory circuits. Um, what you need to do is to build up this circuit here, which is the 7475 uh, D-type latch. It's a 4-bit latch. So what we're going to do is basically write with these switches here a 4-bit word, a 4-bit binary word to the memory latch. And then we're going to read that information on the LEDs here. So what you need to do is to build up that circuit there. So basically the way it works is when we um, put the information on the switches here <clears throat> and set the, in the enable to high, a 4-bit word is written into the latch. <clears throat> then when we set enable to low, the information is stored within the latch. So regardless of any changes on the switches here, the output remains the same. So that's the basic setup there, and this is it actually connected up. Um, here we have the 7475 uh, chip, the D-type latch. Um, along here we have our four bit, um, our four switches, which are the input switches, which we're going to use to program the latch. Uh, the last switch here, this one here, the green cable, is the enable line. And at the moment it's set to zero, and uh, at zero um, we're just reading from the latch. It's only when it's high that we're actually writing to the latch. So the uh, switches are connected up to the, the inputs of the latch. The outputs then are just simply connected to the LEDs. And in this case, this is going to be the least significant bit uh, of the input, and this one here being the most significant bit. And the same on the output here. This is the least significant bit here, and this is the most significant bit. And of course, don't forget uh, that you need to always connect up the power, plus 5 volts, and also the ground here. Okay, well, we're just going to make sure that it works now. Um, as I say, enable, the enable line is set to zero, so flicking the switches or making any changes on the switches uh, makes no difference to the output, and we can see that there. Okay, so uh, you could say we are in the read mode. Okay, if we change the enable line then to high, we're, we are now writing the information on these four switches here to the latch, and we can see the output on the LEDs. So, for example, if I want to store, um, say, uh, th uh, six, um, so that's six, I put, I write switch, sw uh, six on the switches, and I can see that uh, that information is now written to the latch. Then, if I switch the enable to zero, I lock that information into the latch. In other words, it's going to remember that information. So regardless of what I do now on the switches, there is no change on the output here. So the information has been written into the latch. Okay. So if I want to write, say, another number into the latch, I set the enable again to high. And that's a right. So it's now set for the right condition. And we this time we'll say we put um, 8 and 2 is 10. So we're writing 10, the binary um, for 10, into the latch. Okay. I set the enable line to 0. That's locking the information into the latch. So it's going to remember that. So regardless of what I changes I make now in the switches, the information is stored in the latch. 
Okay, well that's um, uh, experiment D3, part one. Uh, writing to the 7475 D-type, the quad D-type latch.